Hi, everybody. It is October 15, 2017. I want to read a couple of comments from those living in the area of these fires in California. And I'm so sorry to everyone affected. And I am so sorry that our fellow Americans, so many of them, refuse to understand what is happening because there is more and more people coming out saying that these fires were created by electromagnetic weapons, lasers, satellites. But before I get into that, let me just read some of these comments. Um, in Middletown, South Lake Country, or County, I'm sorry, when there was a break in the smoke today, the blue sky above was crisscrossed by chemtrails. And, Sheena, I just can't believe. I'm so sorry. She writes, I am so angry. I'm in the middle of this shit. Started my year in the middle of the worst evacuation because I'm 30 miles from Oroville Dam. And now I can't breathe because I'm at the base of Yuba County foothills. No one is talking about Yuba County, where I am. First, the town of Linda gets submerged in water, and my sister lost her house. And now I have at least five longtime friends who lost their homes. Our community is pulling together and housing the homeless and donating clothes, bath towels, whatever we can for those in our local shelter. We have hundreds of horses, goats, sheep, pigs, chickens. Carol, they keep hitting California's agricultural, agriculture and farming. Go look at how much agriculture from California is given to the United States. And that's right. Food prices, no doubt, will go up. And death, oh my God, bodies dustified. How hot does a fire get to cremate a body? The missing is over 500. So far, the devastation is all around my city. And my city keeps taking on more and more now jobless, we provide jobs to many Latinos legal here and many are employed on these farms, wineries. I am so angry. I don't know what to do with myself. Princess is salute. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, the devil might as well cut off my head now because I am done. I am sick and tired of this absolute fucking bullshit. I'm sick of evil. Done. Satan is an asshole. Obviously. Okay, fine. I'll live long enough to be a thorn in Satan's side. But again, my friend told me this coming week there's supposed to be rain, so I guess not. We pay attention to weather since we have horses. Most people are so oblivious to their environments. I am moving in two years. I'm done. Just trying to figure out where the hell to go. I want to live and die by like-minded human beings. And I sure do identify with that. Sick of dirt bags and ignoramuses. There's still a lot of smoke all around. I was kind of freaked when I went into town because I thought all the fires were practically contained in Yuba. And the people are scared. They're going to see their sweet pets in, their, in the ashes. Yesterday, shitloads of highly obvious chemtrails crisscross X is three times. I don't know. It is deliberate. Yes, it is. It is. Cowards hide and do it undercover. If we catch these people, we need to televise and throw gas on them and light them up. I'll throw the first match. No problem. Psychopaths. Only one way to handle them. I'm so fucking sick of this planet's occupants. 
suck eggs. Zero percent of the animals and 98 humans suck. Sheena again, this was an, an EMF, electromagnetic frequency using scalar waves. I've done some research and those unusual sudden wind bursts match. Also, bodies are dustified. Cremation type of heat. As well, high static charge, blue light flashes, bent and twisted metal. My friend said she has a two inch line around her home as if a guardian angel drew a do not pass line because her community is devastated while her home stands. I can't talk to her about it. I want to get to her home, but we can't yet. I'm about 20 miles from the fires. They are bombarding us with sprays right now. Have been all day. I find it odd that there were no winds now. It's hecka windy. It, now it's hecka windy. Now it's windy. Things that make you go home. What will become of these folks who now have no home? What will become of them? I took a lot of pictures, captured a lot of pictures. And you know what? I know some channels don't want to show pictures and don't really want to report on what's happening in California with these fires because it's sad. Well, guess what? We're at war. We're at war. And whether these people realize it or not, they are the casualty of war. These fires were deliberate. And there's more evidence of that. And I'll show you some pictures of evidence. But what about the animals? The animals. Horse country. Farm country. Two deer in a river and fire all around them. People moving any which way they can, their animals away from the fires because they don't want this happening. They don't want this happening. Smoke inhalation Smoke inhalation because the horse does not look burned, so either smoke or or hit with a electromagnetic frequency heart attack. The chaos of these disasters are I guess you don't know it until you live it until you experience being uprooted cats burned all these animals Thank God. Thank God there are people in the world that care about animals and want to save them. But how many animals didn't survive this? Yes, it's heartbreaking. It's sad. But this is the devastation that goes on. This is the suffering that is caused by these sick, deranged psychopaths who are causing all of these disasters. This dog was burned. 
And some of these pictures are from Orange County, Southern California. Interesting. This car is burned. This animal doesn't really look burned. This goat. The house is burned. But surrounding are trees with leaves still on them. The terror, the horror, that yes, a lot of Americans just don't want to look at because it's really uncomfortable. Well, guess what? Sometimes looking wakes people up. How about the people? All of the people who are having to suffer the consequences. Now I've read comments from people who don't care. Yeah, those, uh, those Christians who feel that this is God. This is God doing this to Californians. Because you guys are just too liberal. So they don't care about you. And then there are people who don't care about you because you're not awake. It's funny how people can carve up their compassion. I read a comment that somebody said that it was karma. Perhaps. But I still, I can't not, because it's automatic. I put myself in their shoes. And the heartbreak, the abject heartbreak of losing everything. Well, I guess you have to lose everything to know what that feels like. So many people in shelters now. Look at these cars. Look at these flames. Aren't white flames the hottest? Yeah. Children, elderly, devastated. Lost everything. How about that property? Look at this. Okay, now, where are the chimneys? Literally leveled, leveled. So many neighborhoods leveled, and yet look at these trees. Will you look at these trees surrounding these leveled properties? Something is not right with this picture. And I have no doubt that you would show this to an awful lot of Americans and they just would just roll their eyes and not even want to look and just say, it was a fire. Really. Directed energy weapons. And I, I can't explain why we are seeing 
No homes. No homes. But all of these trees are unaffected, completely unaffected. Look at this right here to the right. Look at all of these bushes. These homes gone, or businesses or whatever, but they're gone. And surrounding it are bushes and trees, green as can be. Look at this to the right, across the street. Right next to it, the house, unaffected. Another house or a garage, unaffected. But this house got targeted because nothing else can explain that. Whole areas. Can you imagine? Can you imagine escaping this, living in a shelter for a couple of days, and then coming back to see this and this and this and this and this and this tremendous loss here on a scale that it, it's hard to even comprehend. But it looks like the fire just stopped right, right here. We still have green trees up where the fire was. But it literally just stops. These homes are fine. And across the street, these homes are fine. But all of these homes are gone. It, uh, it defies logic. Justification. Judy Wood's term. 9-11. Justified. World Trade Centers. Trees unaffected. Homes leveled. Why don't we look at the cars now? The cars. Here we go. Melting metal. Right here. Metal melting metal that was certainly a very very hot fire don't you think now someone had said that because there's so much plastic and metal and uh, fiberglass in cars today that they're not surprised that these cars had melted. Well, what are we seeing here? Are we seeing um, the the um, this is not the rubber from the tires because it would be a different color. But it looks as if Almost the hubcaps were melted right off. Wrong way. And if it were true that it was just fiberglass and plastic and that's why they're melting, uh, then it would have melted right through. But here, the tree is completely fine. This building is on fire. The car has 
has been completely um, destroyed, the glass gone. And if you look closely, it looks like pools of melted metal. But this tree right next to it is fine. Yeah. The complete tire is gone. And the metal. Are we to are we to assume that the concrete got that hot? No. Look at this tree, it's fine. Right up ahead. Look at all the, the only the car got it. Metal is a conductor of frequencies. Metal is a conductor of frequencies. And that may explain why the cars are getting it. And these trees, very close by, nothing seems to have occurred. No fire here, but the car got it. Yes, directed energy weapons, which means energy weapons that they can direct. Look at this. Another car gets it, but the trees are fine. This wooden post mailbox is fine, but that car, that car, the fire only got that car. Look how white the flames are. Yeah, very hot. So, there are an awful lot of pictures that suggest that directed energy weapons were used. So, we have an awful lot going on with our weather events and fires. And we already have mainstream media and their pundits coming out claiming that this is climate change and in uh, when was it September September 28th I believe they had a conference at the Economic World Forum or something listen to this when you only have one singular planet with one singular atmosphere it is quite a number of light years from the next exoplanet that you know might have habitable conditions on it. The issue of whether or not we will have a sustainable atmosphere and climate has to be a unifying, fundamental, number one priority for the species as a whole right now. Because of all the other problems we have, no matter if we solve every problem from acne to, you know, uh, you name it, speeding, that would be totally useless without a sustainable system. And our system that now sustains basic life on the planet is in dire jeopardy. And if you doubt that, come to Seattle where ash was falling like the apocalypse last week where our forests are raging, where islands are actually going underwater, where the glaciers are melting at unprecedented levels, our basic level of sustainable is very much at risk. And it's difficult for people in public life to talk in these apocalyptic terms, but it is the case. And I've been thinking about a new way of talking about climate disruption. I, I spent a lot of time in my life as governor declaring emergencies, declaring emergencies when the Wenatchee National Forest is burning down, declaring emergencies when a whole mudslide of mountain collapses during the biggest rainstorms we've had. I'm tired of declaring temporary one-off emergencies. We've got to look at this as a planetary emergency, and there's no other way to think about it that is, that is adequate to the task at hand. Okay. Um, this is a very good video, so I hope that you click on the link below and watch it in full. There, and I'm sorry to say this, 
There is no way to get this stopped with so many people who refuse to acknowledge that these disasters are being brought about deliberately, intentionally. Man has all of the tools, the weapons to cause all of these disasters, but when you have so many people around the world who refuse to acknowledge this, refuse to do the research, and just simply claim that it's crazy, that means they're bringing this, this world, they're transforming it successfully, and it's rapidly accelerating now. And Agenda 2030, my, many of the rules and regulations and the legislation has already been passed in, in so many states. All they need to do is enforce it now. And that is, that is what is about to take place. And it's coming sooner rather than later. So for all of you who own property, get ready for the day when they take that property away. Either by destroying it with some natural disaster, quote unquote, or the one world government will be in place United Nations, Agenda 2030. They do not want anyone owning property. And it's coming. That's the world that's coming. I want you to take a look at um, a little bit of Geostorm, but I'm, I'm going to mute it because I don't want a copyright strike. Yes, Geostorm, it's coming out. Or is it out already? Yeah, at that uh, at that presidential um, conference, the campaign, he says, thanks to a system of satellites, we can control our weather. Oh, but then so many disasters occur. And you hear, you hear this woman say, this wasn't a malfunction. Someone intentionally did this. We built this system of satellites to stop natural disasters. Somebody's using this to create them. Well, guess what? Hollywood tells us what's going on. So, somebody is using the satellites to create these disasters. And in fact, I want to bring your attention to this video, Directed Energy Weapons Over California with Ilana Freeland. I will link below. It is Ilana talking about the fires in California and Santa Rosa and um, all of the chemtrails and the satellites and a laser. A laser from a satellite could start the fires. There are so many different ways that these fires can be ignited and when you have the ground and the trees so, so incredibly saturated with all of these chemicals and heavy metals and aluminum. It's incendiary. And they have been causing drought in California with the chemtrails, with the geoengineering, for five years. So, you know that California is really saturated and it is one of the reasons why these fires were so magnificently hot 
as well as uncontrollable. So you can listen to Ilana Freeland, who is also talking about directed energy weapons to start these fires. And A Plain Truth has several videos which are very good and um, and he's in this area. How the firestorms were created, many people have talked about seeing these blue lights or uh, blue sparks in the sky. You know, it would be hard enough to deal with this. We got hurricane. If it was natural. But to deal with everything that's going on, and you know it's deliberate, and then you know people who are affected by it. And you know that you can't reach anybody in terms of your fellow Americans. They just won't listen to you. They laugh at you. They call you names. They bully you. <laughs> and then you think how many more disasters are coming down the pike where more and more people will be destroyed or murdered, because that's what it is. It's murder. So in Truth by Grace, I want to remind everybody her videos, very good evidence of military grade um, electromagnetic frequency accelerants. Santa Rosa, Northern California, fires defy the laws of physics. Where did the houses go? And I will link below to that video in particular. I am so sorry to all of you having to deal with these fires. I don't want to forget Houston or Puerto Rico. It's a lot on our plates. But for the individual having to deal with the consequences Many don't even have a plate. And people have to, have to help one another. Families turning their back. And I believe it was Princess I, I Salute. Is that I Salute? I don't know. I'm sorry. But I might have this wrong, but your family never even called to find out how you are. Well, you're in Yuba, and so is Sheena, so maybe you can hook up. I'm just, I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It is, I feel helpless here in South Carolina. I read these comments and I just, <sighs> yeah. You have every right to be angry. You have every right to be angry. You have every right 